Okay, I'm here with Dave Mastin and Mastin Space Systems. And we just wanted to get a brief update on how things are going with your uh, cruiser program. Oh, the cruiser program, things are uh, moving ahead. We're uh, pretty close to being on schedule. Looks like we're going to be on schedule. Uh, there was a little bit of schedule risk in there, but so far so good. And uh, so the uh, flying uh, demonstration flights are the first requirement. And that will be occurring uh, around, well, originally it was scheduled December 8th, 9th. Uh, we just talked to the NASA folks. They wanted to change that schedule a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and do them the following week. Right. Um, and the actual cruiser flights are scheduled for the 15th and 16th of December. Okay. For the first two. So you'll you'll have a good Christmas or maybe a bad Christmas depending on how things go. So uh, it should be a good Christmas. I, I I don't expect anything terrible or horrible to go wrong. Right. And what vehicles are you working on now for test flights? So the vehicle we're about to start test flying is called Zero. Right. And all it is is a reconfiguration of the vehicle that we used for the level two of the Lunar Lander Challenge. Uh, basically, that reconfiguration involves putting an aero shell around it and uh, streamlining it so we can go higher and faster. Okay. And what altitudes are you going to reach with that? Um, we'll promise 100,000 foot. Uh, the current analysis suggests about 150,000 foot. Oh, wow. And uh, how quickly do you think you'll be up? How many miles is that? Okay. Um, I don't know it in miles, actually. <laughs> okay. It's uh, about 31 kilometers in okay. altitude. And when do you think you'll be able to fly suborbital, getting up to about uh, 100 kilometers? Uh, we're expecting the edge of space about the same time, about this time next year. Oh, really? Um, basically, we're going to learn a whole lot of things from Zero. Uh, you know, really, Zero is all about the test program and uh, finding out what we need to do to, to go supersonic and to uh, do a recovery without having an engine on. So right. There's a lot of aerodynamics involved. Zero's, gonna, Zero's our pathfinder for the aerodynamics. Um, and as soon as we have that nailed down and we know that, you know, we have all the data we need to, to do the next vehicle, then uh, we'll start building Zogdor. And the Zogdor looks a lot like Zero right now. It's uh, just a little bit larger, a little bit larger tanks. And uh, that should go up to 150 kilometers. Okay, wow. And are you looking at orbital eventually? Down the road, we are looking at orbital. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's a ways out yet. Yeah. But uh, this, you... is, this is a steady progression. You know, we're going to, you know, after, after Zogdor, I've already started concept designs for yet another suborbital vehicle, and uh, it'll have a lot more performance than even Zogdor. You know, looking at, you know, 405 kilometers high uh, altitude. Um, has enough energy to maybe go from coast to coast. Okay. So, oh, wow. Point to point then. But it's still in the concept design phase and still don't know exactly how that's going to work out yet. So right. We'll see. Uh, so how's how's your work week's been like? Trying to get prepared for everything. Um, um, well, my work weeks are uh, pretty much the same as any entrepreneur's. Uh, you know, we have a lot of schedule freedom as long as, you know, we can work any 70 hours of the week we want to. Yeah. But, you know, it is 70, 80 hours a week. <laughs> right. Anything else you wanted to add about this? Um, stay tuned. we got a lot coming up. Cool. Are you going to be announcing some new things soon? Uh, well, we'll be announcing some successful test flights soon. Okay. Great. We'll look forward to seeing that. Thank you very much. Sure.